great, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love the seaside. I can't wait to build the sandcastle. I can't wait either. What a beautiful day to spend at the seaside. The sand is all hot and sandy. Whee! Oh! <laughs> oh, why don't you girls go and play? I'll stay here and sort this out. We can build a sandcastle. A sandcastle. I love sandcastles. When I was little, I made one as tall as me, all by myself. Come on, Miffy. This is a good spot for building a castle. I'm going to build mine over here. And I'll call it Castle Miffy. Why don't you and Melody build a sandcastle together? No, I want to make mine all by myself, like Rummy did when she was little. It's not very castly. <laughs> oh, it keeps falling down. Building sand castles is hard. <laughs> Building sand castles is fun. Not when they keep falling down. I'm giving mine some extra towers. That's nice, Melanie. Hmm, I haven't even made one tower. Maybe you could ask Melanie to help. But then I wouldn't be doing it all by myself. <sighs> mm. There! Castle Miffy! Very nice. Are you going to show Mummy and Melanie? So, Melanie's castle is so much better than mine. <sighs> Where are you going now, Miffy? I don't want to build sand castles anymore. It's too hard. I'm going to collect shells instead. Where are you going, Miffy? Shell collecting. OK. Stay where I can see you. can see when I'm beside the sea those shells in the pool they're sparkly like a jewel oh yes wow Ooh. oh hello mr. crab I didn't know there was anybody home <laughs> You were building sand castles. I tried, but it kept falling down. I'll never make one as good as Melanie's castle. Would you like me to help you? No, thanks, Mummy. It's not the same if you don't build it all by yourself. Oh, Miffy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean you had to build your castle without any help. What have you got there, Miffy? Shells. What a good idea. Huh? You can use them to decorate your castle. I hadn't thought of that. Would you like some for yours? Yes, please. Wow. Why doesn't yours fall down? I used wet sand so it sticks. And your shells will make it look even better.
should call it Melanie and Miffy's castle. Hmm. Melanie, can we build another castle together? I know how to do it now. Yes, let's collect shells for it. Building together is more fun than by yourself. Yes. We'll make an even better castle using shells to make it sparkle. <laughs> That's not how I left it. It was all fully downy. Oh, hello, Miffy. You'd made such a good start, I thought I'd carry on where you left off. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. Let's all stick shells in it together. Yay! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Miss Crab's found a new home. Crab Castle. <laughs> <laughs> where are you today, Miffy? I'm at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Is Grandma having a snooze? Yes. She wants me to have a snooze too. But I'm not tired. Oh, I can't get snoozy. Grandma. Grandma. Are you still asleep? Are you <gasps> awake? Yes, Miffy. I'm awake. Me too. I can't sleep. You don't have to sleep. You can just rest. But I can't get comfy. And the bees are too buzzy. Then why don't you try watching the clouds, Miffy? Watching the clouds? Why? It's my favourite game. It's very relaxing. It might help you rest. A game? I love games. How do we play? Well, you just lie back, look at the sky and try to spot shapes in the clouds. <gasps> There's a cloud. That one's shaped like a cloud. There's another one. That looks just like a cloud too. Are you sure this is your favourite game, Grandma? <laughs> you just need patience, Miffy. You'll see. Ah, there. Now, does that look like anything? It looks like a flower. Look, Grandma, a flower. Exactly. Now you're getting it. What else can we see? There. Can you spot something swimming in the clouds, Miffy? Yes, I can. Swim, little fish. <laughs> oh, I can see a hat. And I can see a bell. Oh, yes. It's a bell-shaped hat. Oh, it's a hat-shaped bell. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, look. There's Snuffy. Snuffy? Really? Where? No, up there. In the sky. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it is. Hello, Snuffy. Oh, she's floating away. Bye-bye, Snuffy. I think she wants me to follow her. Really? Then she must want me to follow her too. Oh, oh, but not too fast, Snuffy. Grandma's not as quick as she used to be. Hurry, Grandma, before Snuffy Cloud gets away. This is my best hurrying. Oh, stepping stones. Maybe this is what Snuffy Cloud wanted us to find. Yes, <laughs> let's play here for a while. <laughs> No, Snuffy Cloud is still going. Come on, Grandma. We have to keep following. <laughs> OK, Miffy. Lead the way. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Sit, Snuffy Cloud. Sit. Stay. Oh, she's so high up she can't hear me. <sighs> Hurry, Grandma. Snuffy's getting away. <sighs> oh. Come on. Miffy? Yes? Snuffy Cloud's very fast, isn't she? Yes, and I want to catch up with her. But Grandma's not very fast, is she? No, and I don't want to leave Grandma behind. So what are you going to do, Miffy? Uh, um, I'm going to wait for Grandma. I'm 
sorry Snuffy Cloud floated away, Miffy. I told Snuffy to sit and wait, but she didn't. But you did, Miffy. Thank you. Now we can look for some clouds together. <laughs> Are you tired, Grandma? Well, I do love cloud watching, but I think cloud chasing is a little bit too energetic for me these days. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Grandma. Snuffy Cloud was a very speedy cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Miffy! A sheep! No! A whole flock of sheep! <gasps> and there's Snuffy! No, it's definitely a sheep. No, I mean, it really is Snuffy. The real Snuffy. <laughs> Snuffy! <gasps> That's why Snuffy Cloud wanted us to follow her. So she could take us to real Snuffy. Oh, of course. What a clever cloud. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Snuffy. Sorry, Grandma. <gasps> Will you look at that? A cupcake cloud is heading straight for my house. A cupcake cloud. That must mean it's tea time. <laughs> Let's follow it. <laughs> Uh-oh, Grandma. I think that's what Snuffy wanted to tell us. A rain cloud. Let's hurry home. <laughs> Grandma, wait for me. Look, Grandma, now Snuffy's chasing us. <laughs> Come on, Miffy, come on! <laughs> Where are we going, Mummy? We're off to collect Boris Bear. Hooray! Boris always makes me giggle. But, Mummy, we're going the wrong way. Boris's house is that way. That's because today we're collecting Boris from the hospital. The hospital? Yes. Poor Boris fell out of an apple tree this morning and broke his arm. Boris is broken? Oh, no! Come on, Miffy. Let's go and find out where Boris's room is. Miffy, aren't you going to visit Boris? Yes, I am, but I don't think I'm wearing the right dress. Well, you look just fine to me, Miffy. You don't have to be dressed up to visit somebody in hospital. Don't you? No. So you can go in now. OK. OK. Miffy, is there some other reason you don't want to go into the hospital? <sighs> yes. I like Boris so much, but I don't want to see him broken. Oh, Miffy. Aren't you coming in, Miffy? Yes, but I think I might have a tummy ache. Have you? Then maybe you need to see a doctor too, Miffy. Ah, here's one coming now. Hello. Hello, Doctor. We've come to visit Boris Bear. Ah, yes, Boris. I'm going to check on him now. Come this way. Mm, uh... Miffy isn't sure about hospitals. That's a shame, because I really need an assistant to help me with some very important jobs. Ooh, me, me! There you are. I love helping. Oh, Miffy. <laughs> Hello, Boris. Look who I brought. Hello, Miffy. You came to visit. Boris. Hmm. You don't look broken. <laughs> oh, good. Is your arm very sore? It was when I first fell out of the tree. But we're making it all better now. Where are you going, Miffy? Mm. What are you looking for? Um, where did you put the broken bit? Well, the broken bit is inside this hard plaster. It protects the broken bone. Oh, you should have put that on before you climbed the tree, Boris. <laughs> You're much more sensible than me, Miffy. 
Making our patients comfy is the most important job of all. Can you help me? Of course. I like helping. Oh, thank you, Miffy. Would you like a grape? Yes, please. Mm. Mm. Here, Boris. We brought you a woodwork magazine to read while you're getting better. Oh, thank you. This one's my favourite. And <laughs> some more grapes. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Miffy, you could help Boris turn the pages. Mm -hmm. I'm already helping with the grapes. <laughs> You're an excellent helper, Miffy. I know. It's a very important job. Dr Miffy, are you ready to help me check whether Boris is well enough to go home? Mm -hmm. Dr Miffy is ready. Dr Miffy's here to say What is wrong with you today? If you're broken, if you're ill I'll make you better, yes I will If you're poorly, come this way Dr Miffy's here today If you're poorly, come this way Dr Miffy's on call today Good news, Boris. You're well enough to go home now. Oh, good. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Doctors. No problem. Have plenty of rest and try not to bump your arm while it mends. I'll try, but I am rather clumsy. <laughs> Bye then. Next time you climb the apple tree, be more careful. That's exactly what I was about to say. Look, Barbara, Boris is mended. I helped mend him. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Boris? Much better. Thanks to all my lovely visitors, and the doctors, of course. Especially Dr Miffy. Mm. Well, this should cheer you up too. A lovely big bunch of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> More grapes! <laughs> Fruit is very good for you. Oh, well said, Dr Miffy. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yes. Except when you fall out of an apple tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you home, shall we? Oh, do we have to? I like hospitals. Maybe you can come back here one day, when you're a real doctor. Ooh. Dr Miffy, how do you do? Uh, uh, oh, do you think they'd mind if I use that wheelchair? You don't need a wheelchair for a broken arm, Boris. It's not for me. It's for all the grapes! <laughs> oh, Boris! Oh, dear Boris! <laughs> <laughs>